On the other side of the eternal stairs, the mighty kingdoms of the deathless flame aspired to reach the being's absolutes out of the sorrow and darkness of the world, out of the depths where life and thought are tombed, lonely mounts up to heaven the deathless flame. In a veiled nature's hallowed secrecies, it burns forever on the altar mind, its priests the souls of dedicated gods, humanity its house of sacrifice. Once kindled, never can its flaming cease, a fire along the mystic paths of earth. It rises through the mortal's hemisphere, till born by runners of the day and dusk, it enters the occult eternal light and clamors whitening to the invisible throne. Its worlds are steps of an ascending force, a dream of giant contours, titan lines, homes of unfallen and illumined might, heavens of unchanging good, pure and unborn, heights of the grandeur of truth's ageless ray, as in a symbol sky they start to view and call our souls into a vaster air. On their summits they bear up the sleepless flame, dreaming of a mysterious beyond, transcendent of the paths of fate and time. They point above themselves with index peaks through a pale sapphire ether of God-mind towards some gold infinite's apocalypse. A thunder rolling mid the hills of God, tireless, severe is their tremendous voice, exceeding us to exceed ourselves, they call, and bid us rise incessantly above. Far from our eager reach those summits live, too lofty for our mortal strength and height, hardly in a dire ecstasy of toil, climbed by the spirit's naked athlete will. Austere, intolerant they claim from us, efforts too lasting for our mortal nerve, our hearts cannot cleave to, nor our flesh support. Only the eternal strength in us can dare to attempt the immense adventure of that climb and the sacrifice of all we cherish here. Our human knowledge is a candle burnt on a dim altar to a sun-vast truth. Man's virtue, a coarse-spun, ill-fitting dress, apparels wooden images of good. Passionate and blinded, bleeding, stained with mire, his energy stumbles towards a deathless force. An imperfection dogs our highest strength. Portions and pale reflections are our share. Happy the worlds that have not felt our fall, where will is one with truth and good with power. Impoverished not by earth mind's indigence, they keep God's natural breath of mightiness, his bare spontaneous swift intensities. There is his great transparent mirror, self, and there his sovereign autarky of bliss, in which immortal natures have their part, heirs and co-sharers of divinity.